Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Blight. Boy, we've got a lot going on. We were just getting ready to I keep moving forward on our metalworking. But uh, we noticed at the end of last episode, we had a little rabbit here in our snare. So let's harvest this guy up while we're here. Boom. Get this going. We've got a couple sausages cooked. I may eat those to make room in inventory. In fact, I'm pretty sure I will. Let's do that now. Let's just eat both of these. We've got plenty of room on our, our hunger bar here to, to do it. He coughs after he eats. I'm not sure if he doesn't like this or what. 85. Let's see. We didn't seem to lose health, but I'm not sure why he gags after he eats this stuff. We'll grab the fur and we've got plenty of sausage casings, so I may harvest the intestines and then just actually eat that. Let's do it. Just because we don't have room to take it back. And like I said, we do have sausage casings back at the camp. There may be another use for these. Let's see. Is there craft? Looks like just sausage casings. I'm going to I'm going to just eat that. Pretty tasty. Eat, eat it. I don't think we get much out of it. 91. We get one. <laughs> but it's better than nothing. All right, let's grab the last piece here, which is the fat. And then let's head back to camp. We were just checking the rabbit traps kind of at the end of last episode. Just to see... And we stumbled upon that rabbit. Let's check this one here. This guy looks like it's empty. All right, let's head over to the campfire. And it's getting to be nighttime, too. We're probably going to have to sleep, right? The shadows are getting pretty long. In fact, yeah, they're getting pretty long. It's getting kind of hazy. Let's hop over here. See what we want to do. Now, we can still turn this into sausage. We got three copper ore. We got some firewood. Let's put the firewood in there. We got four sticks. I don't think I need those. I may just drum, dump those off here too. Just to free up space in inventory. There's another rabbit here in the far in the distance here. I can see right towards the top of the screen. Uh, I guess we'll chop this guy up. I got to assume we're getting better calories out of this. Let's see what it says. It says three meat, right? Three hunger. On the pop-up here, let's see what happens when we turn it into ground meat. What's three hunger? Does it say anything with ground meat? Ground meat says 0. 0.5. Let's see. That's I'm going to grab these casings. And let's see. This animal fat looks like we could... Can we eat that too? Interesting. All right, let's instead make sausage. And what is that going to get us? One hunger. Wasn't the rabbit like three or was it point three? I can't, I can't remember. <clears throat> Excuse me. If that's one, maybe we can cook that. Uh, let's at least get it on the stove. Water's okay. It's not great, but we can make it through the night. Dump off these sausage casings here. Drop. And what else? Our tea is ready to brew, actually. We should probably be doing that. Let me actually get a little closer to where I want to drop this. We're going to need to learn how to make leather as well. Oh, ground meat. Did I not make... Let's see. Bear with me here. Got a little extra ground meat, but I don't have the... Uh, Fat. I don't think I need, that I need to uh, turn it into sausage. There might be some fat underneath these pelts here. Let me just pull that up. Yeah, there it is. Boom. I'm going to grab the sausage casings again. And let's make another sausage here. kind of remembered that I had left some fat underneath some pelts, rabbit pelts here. Let's get rid of the casing. Boom. And let's move the pelts over here. Let's dump those off somewhere where I can see them. Got four of those. We're going to have to figure out how to make leather out of that. Uh, we got some copper. We got the tea. We got 
Another raw sausage. Let's throw that on the fire. Boom. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. All right. Tea, we want to make two. What else do we got going on? Let's look at the journal. Like six copper ores. We've got three. Can't tell exactly what time it is, but boy, the shadow is long. Does the bed... Hmm. Let's go out for a little bit longer here. See some extra copper ore laying on the ground. Let's see how much we need. I think it's six, right? Into the journal. Six copper ore. We've got three. There's two more here. See if we can grab those. There's one. And there's two. And it is getting late. I think we're going to have to sleep here. Let's just take a little bit of a look. Clay. We've got lots of clay left. We need another copper and we need a tin. Here's our cairns. I don't know if it gets a little rougher at night as far as the animal situation. Iron rich rocks. Is there any iron like little nuggets? Large stone. I don't think we can do anything with the says we need a pickaxe. We don't have that. There's some clay. Shoot. Nice if there's just one little iron. There isn't a little iron nugget. I think we need to find so we can make tools. Ooh, this is actually a hill. I cannot climb up this. It's coming around this way. We're going to have to head back to camp here. Milk, cairn. There's another cairn. Dandelions. I'm going to go just as far as I can see our cairns. I'm not going to bother with the dog's bane. Sticks, small stone. Whoop, there's a thing. i got to grab my axe. Two. One. Okay, I scared him off. Of course, I can't get him once he uh, starts running from me. It's a bit of a drag because he took a bite out of me. And I would love to get the meat and the pelt off of that guy. Ginseng, pine cone, dandelions. Basically, I'm just looking for, um, yes, one more copper and a tin. We, we do need to head back probably. Just eat these blueberries to get them out of the inventory. Water looks good. And you know, we're taking hits on our health. We've had three coyote attacks. Copper rich rock. Copper ore. There's our fifth or our sixth copper we need right here. Boom. Somehow we got to find a piece of tin. Yeah, I'm getting too far away. Let's head back to camp. Cook stuff up. Maybe make that tea and see if it heals us up. And then, uh, we'll sleep it off. I can kind of go this way. There's a rabbit. All stones, cairns. I'm not going to really pick anything up here. Unless it's super duper useful. All right, let's head up around the uh, blight here. I don't want to walk in the blight. Here's some more chamomile. It's snare. It says set rabbit snare, but I'm guessing it's that. I'm going to grab it, plop it down, and see if it still says set rabbit snare. Because maybe I do need to place these down new every time. Nope. So set rabbit snare is just telling us that it is ready. He's that rabbit. He's not going to go to our snare, probably. Got one right here. He just ran right by it. Oh, more chamomile growing. Young chamomile. All right. All right. Let's do our cooking. You can see our little charcoal thing here still burning. Looks like we got 42 minutes left. Let's see. What do we got going on in here? We got two sausages. Oh, I thought I had six copper. Did I not pick that one up? I got five in inventory. Oh, man. Oh, well, we'll get it next time. We'll go out there and get it. Let's grab some firewood. We got to grab a ton of this. Oops. Trying to grab the firewood. Sorry, bear with me. 
You and you. We gotta put enough in to get through the night. We may have to chop some more. There's two hours, three hours. That's four hours. Yeah, we're gonna need to chop some wood tomorrow, probably. Wake up. Five. We're gonna need more than eight because uh, we wanna do a little cooking and make that tea before we uh, lay down. Nine hours, let's go ahead and get this started. Boom. We will uh, empty the cooking surface first. Does this have water in it or something? Yeah, clean and fresh water. Let's drink that. Very good, cool. Then we'll go ahead and start cooking the sausage. Then, you know what we're going to do? I kind of made a mistake there. We're going to have to go get water, boil it up, and then put our tea. Oh, we never looked at the note. There's a little note here. A letter. Let's pick this up while we're waiting. Pick it up. Check it out. Let's read that. Right click, read it. We have seen your smoke from afar. We will meet in two days. All right, kind of cool. A mysterious letter. After returning from gathering resources, you notice a letter that was somehow placed in your camp. It appears others are alive and aware of your presence. The letter mentions they will meet you within two days. It says, wait for whoever wrote the letter. And yeah, that's easy to do. And I'm going to plop, I'm going to drop that letter. Just so we don't have it in our inventory. Oh, does it? It actually burns. You can actually burn it. All right, I'm going to just drop it for now. Now we're waiting for food to cook. I suppose I could eat some of that or all of it once it is done. While we're waiting, let's chop down a couple big trees. Hopefully our axe is going to hold out for us a bit longer. Let's uh, let's get some more firewood going. We know we've kind of depleted our supply. It takes longer to chop because it's big. We still haven't used our bowl. I wonder if I should be using that to cook the uh, sausages instead of the stone one. I'm probably missing something important there because we have not taken advantage of that bowl yet. Got a bunch of branches in the water. I don't know if I'll be able to retrieve those or not. Big tree here. Do a little work before bedtime here. This will make us uh, sleep pretty good. Oh, I see a little indication that I'm encumbered. Carrying a lot of weight. Stamina depletes and movement speed is slower. Seems like it's pretty good, actually. All right, let's go ahead and chop this stuff up. Hear the food still cooking there. I think that little sizzling will stop once uh, sausages are cooked. And again, we'll do the water. We'll grab some more water, cook that up, and then see if we can't make this chamomile tea and see if it actually recovers our health. We're down to 79. Uh, I guess I can just drop all this firewood. Drop, drop. Let's chop down that other tree while we're waiting. Got a bunch of sticks we can harvest later. Oops, let's go. Yeah, we need to find another copper and a tin. That'll be the next day, I guess, in the morning. We'll go looking for that. And then hopefully we can finish our crucible furnace thing. Eventually craft some more tools, and then we'll be kind of not having to worry about when these axes and uh, hammer and knife break. Hopefully we'll be able to craft some of our own. Probably in a pickaxe, right? So we can mine some of those rocks that we saw. We saw copper and iron rocks that we can actually mine with a pickaxe. But I can't do anything with the tools I got. Let's grab these logs. 
And we'll head back, see if we can grab those sausages. We're gonna have to put some of this, uh, some of this wood back in the fire. Okay, I've got room. Let's grab the sausages. Where's our bowl? What is that? Dog bane. Grab our bowl, fill that up with water, and get that cooking. We're going to try to make that tea, that chamomile tea. That'll help us sleep, too, probably. Because it makes you tired. You over here and boil. Still have eight hours on the fire. While that is cooking, let's uh, finish making some firewood. Be good to have a little supply of this on hand. Then we'll see. We'll see if the tea makes us sleep, and then we'll see... Yeah, this episode we should be able to get through the night. We'll see if we get any healing just from uh, laying down with a full, fairly full stomach. We're looking like we're doing pretty good on food to me. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more wood to this fire. Get 12 more minutes on the hot water, then we'll throw in the chamomile. Let's dump off the firewood into our little log pile we got going here. Eat these sausages while I wait for that uh, water to heat up. Not sure what to do with the garlic. 79. So it flashes and we get like a little grunt, but our health doesn't seem to go down, so I'm not sure what the game's trying to tell us there. We've got iron rich rock right near us, but no, we need, I think we need a little nugget of iron, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. We got a little bit more left to go here. Three more minutes. We could check a rabbit snare or something while we're waiting. Upper rich rock. That looks empty. One looks empty too here from the distance. Where's our other one? We got more. That one by the cairn. That one's empty. Oops, getting into the, uh, getting into the blight. I don't want that. All right, that's that. Let's see if we can make the tea. Okay, water looks done. I'm going to drag some of this over. And, ooh, very strong. And you, let's see. Is there a way? Let's see. Hold left shift to split in half. I think we need 15, right? And then it says uh, left hand left hand control for one at a time. Boom. I think we need 15, right? Fire's going. Let's go ahead and boil that up. Four minutes. Not sure there's anything we can really do in four minutes. Oh, there's a copper nugget right there. Right. This guy right there. That should be our sixth copper. We need a tin, though. Maybe up this way where the wolves, where the uh, coyotes, I keep calling them wolves. I do that basically just to offend them. Call them the wrong thing. Seems dangerous going too far out here at night. There's a bunch more clay out here. Copper rich, toadstool, small stones, large stones. More clay. Tin, tin, there it is, right there. There it is, tin. We got a dead rabbit too we might be able to grab. Whoops, let's make sure we hold this down and get it. How's our inventory doing? Pretty good. I say we go for this dead rabbit. Harvest. Oh, check it out. Something's missing, the intestines. Oh, what are we doing? Okay, we got rabbit, rabbit. <laughs> that's rotten rabbit meat. In our inventory causes problems for us, so we don't want that. We can, I think we're safe to take the hide and maybe the fat too. Try it. You saw when I just picked up that rotten rabbit meat, it was not happy. We started taking damage actually. I think, although 79 is where we were at. 
Let's see if the fat's okay to grab. All right. Let's head back to camp. There's a coyote there, or a wolf, I should call it, just to uh, insult it. Cowardly wolf. It could be that one more whack of the uh, axe and that thing would go down because some of these may be injured. I've been attacked by coyotes a couple times and they their health bar gets real low and I don't know if they recover that or not. But then they, they run away before I can uh, get to them. Hit them again. There's our letter on the ground. We're good with that. Let's see about the tea. Or we can drop... Actually, let's clear our backpack here. Here is our pelts. Let's drop that. Get a little bit of animal fat. Maybe I'll put that, I don't know, right here on the ground. And there's our tin and our copper. We'll do that after we sleep. Let's check out the fire. We got eight hours. Tea, let's drink it. We've got 79 health, 64 thirst. Let's see what happens when we drink this up. We get anything. Oh, what? 81? <laughs> I think we got one health for that. One health. Not uh, impressive. Let's lay down. We got eight hours in the fire. The eight hours, ten minutes. Oh. You need to sleep about four hours to fully replenish your energy. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and sleep. We'll do it. Might still be nighttime. And leave. Got a bunch of more time on the fire. Let's uh, let's at least cook up some wire. I don't, uh, water. I don't know if there's a way for me to turn the fire off. Don't see it. You guys may see it. Okay. Don't see a way to turn the fire off. That would be cool. Maybe if I get a thing full of water, I can do it. Doubt it. Let's try it. Empty. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could splash water on our campfire and put it out. It doesn't look like we can. But we'll try a couple more things just for the heck of it. Let's just see here what happens. I go into my inventory, right click, drink all, unequip, empty, empty half, fill, craft with, yeah, I can't do anything, show me how to make the bowl. And what about, if I put it on the cooking surface, anything else I can do here? Nope, let's boil the water. Got that fire going, it's kind of a waste of firewood. Um, hmm, let's, uh... Yeah, we're well rested. I guess we could have made the last day la uh, go a little bit longer. Let's look at the journal and go straight to the metalworking. We've got everything we need. What's it say? Look out for copper tin and... Okay, we've got that. Okay, collect 20 charcoals. Once the charcoal pile is done burning, collect the charcoal. We're done burning and there is right here a bunch of charcoal on the ground in stacks of five. They want, what, 20? So we'll just grab four stacks of this stuff. Hold down the Alt key. There's one, two, three, and four. Now what? Okay. Create a clay crucible. Create a clay saw blade mold. You'll need a few more clay items to set up the smelt. Create a... Oh, man, what the heck is that? Look at this, a black bear. We uh, we gotta hang out near the fire, I guess. Look at that. I'm guessing we, our little axe isn't gonna help us there. So hopefully we stick by the fire, we'll be all right. Should be. Go away, buddy. All right. Uh, back to the journal. Since molten bronze is cast into molds to cool and harden, you will need to make clay mold for the object to pour the bronze into. The first tool you need is a saw, so create a saw blade mold out of the clay. All right. Clay crucible. We've got a little hunk of clay sitting here. Let's grab it. 
and see if we can craft that into something. Clay crucible. Do it. I think that's what they want. Let's sculpt that. You can throw that in the fire, too. It'll take advantage of the fire. Let's do it. I'm sure that's what needs to happen. Pop this guy in. Let him start drawing. We've got water. Let's drink it. No reason not to do that. In fact, we could probably... Can't make tea. I think I need 15. Alright, what's next? Create a clay saw blade mold. Now we need more clay. Do I have any sitting around? Whoops. Bit the alt key here. There's a clay bowl. I've got soft clay brick. I guess we could cook that thing up. Got some more bricks. Let's throw that in just so we make use of this thing. Make use of the fire. I gotta get more soft clay. What's the problem? The problem is we've got bear roaming around and it's nighttime. <laughs> Not the best time to head out. Um, That could really do us in. What could we do while we're waiting? That's... Is that camp? There's our bear. I thought I saw some chamomile sitting there. Dandelions, not sure what that's used for yet. I think we're going to get a tutorial that tells us. You can take a look at the rabbit snare, nothing. We could chop wood. Just thinking what we can do until it's safe to go out. If we come across the bear, we're kind of done. Grab some of these sticks. Let's do that. Not sure what the twigs are used for. Maybe just in the fire? A few more over here. I'm just going to grab these to kill time, basically. Okay. Drop them off here. We can make some rope. I don't know if there's any other reason for this. Um, to keep this plant around, the dog bane. Yeah, I guess we should have ran the other day a little bit longer. Because uh, even though it was kind of getting dark... Don't think we would have had to worry about this little guy over here. Our buddy, the black bear. Got the charcoal. This guy looks ready, right? I'm going to grab him. The brick I'm going to grab. We're going to put that somewhere. Double click. We had some bricks laying around. Yeah, let's drop it right here. Here, coyotes. Back to the journal. Create a... Yeah, we need we need clay before we can move forward on that. Um, Don't think I've got any more raw clay laying around. A little nervous about the bear. In theory, we could make a bunch of campfires and create a safe little path for us, ourselves, but seems a little silly tedious to do that. We got some more sticks here. I may grab those while I'm here. And I'm not sure what the twigs are for. I guess we could grab one and right click and see. I know we need sticks. So I'm just going to collect these up while we're waiting for stuff to happen or waiting for the day to break. Dandelions. Rabbit snare over here. We can check that. Yeah, no rabbit. Head a little bit over towards the water. It's got to be cautious for the animals, right? Oh, clay. Clay, clay, clay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Maybe we won't get eaten while we're doing it. Whoa, that's not good, guys. That's not good. I'm going to try my axe, but I think we're in trouble. 
Oh, this guy looks like I might be able to outrun him. Let's see if we can get back to the fire if it scares him off. Oh man, we took some damage. That's about 500 uh, chamomile teas to recover from that. Bummer. All right. Oh, okay. What did they want? They wanted us to do a saw blade, right? Okay, saw blade mold. Let's just double check. Create a clay saw blade mold. Saw blade mold. Do I have enough? It looks like I do. Bummer on the bear. We're down to 60 health. We were at 80. But we're alive. We're going to have to find a way to heal. Let's pop that in the fire. It's still burning. Um, I guess we could go collect water. Man, that's a bummer. I was trying to avoid that. Wasn't trying hard enough, apparently. But it's no fun just sitting here at the campfire doing nothing. All right, let's drop some more sticks off. Where do we have those? Over here? We got some dog vein growing. We've got a couple more clay on hand. We've got our crucible. I'm not sure what we do with that yet. We'll follow the tutorial and see what they want us to do. Um, yeah, we gotta wait for night to pass here. Yeah. You know what? Let's. I'm kind of curious about that bowl they had us make. Where was that? Collect some clay. That's the brick. Where is it here? Chamomile flowers, chamomile tea. Just curious about the, the clay bowl that we made. What's that for? Is it just... They said it was better for food, I think. Hunger and thirst. I'm not sure. You guys may see it. I may be going right on by. But maybe we're supposed to cook stuff on that clay bowl that's sitting over here on the ground. It's got a notification something's ready. Okay, we got the clay saw blade mold. Water is cooking. Still looks a little dusky or dawn. Let's uh, go back to the journal. See what they want us to do. Place a classic saw blade mold. Place the saw blade mold down on the ground. The browns, browns can be poured into it later. All right, let's do it kind of over here. Place this guy down here. Boom. There's our saw blade. Looks kind of interesting. Journal, what's next? Create the brown saw. Okay, we... Create the bronze saw blade in the mold. Ignite the crucible furnace with charcoal. Crush the copper and tin ores. Using the crafting menu and then place the crushed ores into the material section of the furnace. And smelt the ores into the molten bronze. Alright, I think we're going to leave that for next episode. What happened this episode? We got eaten by a bear, a bear a little bit. Got nipped a little bit. We slept and we did not, I didn't, I don't think we saw much healing from sleeping. That's a little bit of letdown. We saw that the tea, the chamomile tea, gave us all of one health improvement. <laughs> so we were at 79. It brought us up to 80. Now we're at uh, 60 health as a result of our buddy, the bear. So next episode. Ooh. Is that... Oh, that rabbit's alive. Next episode, we're going to need to look at... Uh, we'll smelt the bronze and make ourselves a saw blade and do that. But we also need to look at the herb stuff here. Make a seasoned rabbit meat. Extract 50 grams of salt from dandelion roots. Harvest raw rabbit meat. Cook seasoned rabbit meat with the collected ingredients. It says you can enhance the benefits of rabbit meat by cooking it with more ingredients. You'll need salt and garlic. We have some garlic on us. So we'll try this next episode too and see if it doesn't replenish our health. Otherwise, we're going to have to go hunt down a bunch of chamomile 
and make a bunch of tea because, uh, and once our health goes down to zero, I think that's game over. And we're almost at 50% here. We got 60% of our health. We need to find a way to recover that and sleep doesn't seem to do it on its own. But we'll pick that up next episode. I'm going to go ahead and drink some clean, fresh water. And we'll get to cooking some more um, next episode. In fact, I can probably do it now so I don't forget. So let's go grab it. We got a little bit of campfire left. This on the fire. Boil that up. And we'll wrap it up here. For now, this is Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy this content, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. That does help my tiny channel grow, and I'd appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next episode.